I lost my uh, pedal during the run. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to ride on the axle of the pedal. Oh. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was terrible. You showed some some serious promise quite early though in your World Cup career. I mean, qualifying as a junior at your first World Cup on a bull tire is, yeah, is quite impressive. To, but... to be honest, I'm, I was pretty lucky because we had the rain ah. during the quali. Yeah, yeah. And I think the the top thirty was on the try, so the top guys uh, was good for the qualification. Mm -hmm. And after that, we had uh, a storm. So for a few few riders, it was pretty pretty hard to qualify. Mm -hmm. And after that, we rode in the in the mud, but we had more place, I think. So okay. it was a bit easier. But yeah, still still something big for me at this time. Yeah, but even so, <laughs> even in your first kind of elite years, there were some strong results in there quite quickly, right? Like, I I I don't remember exactly, but I remember my second race in Val d'Isol. Uh, it was so bad. It was so hard for me. I think I finished uh, over the top uh, hundred. So it was it was pretty far, and I was pretty impressed by by the riders. Yeah, definitely. The level's insane when you get to World Cup. But yeah, you did you did have some strong results, like fairly on early on. I think getting towards top thirties and didn't take you long to show that potential and show that there was some speed there. But I think. There was a lot of ups and downs too along the way, which maybe made it hard for people to see just how fast you were. Like, what kind of issues were you dealing with in some of those early years, like injuries? Yeah, you're bikes? right. We we didn't have a lot of um, a lot of money, so like like second year, first year elite. I remember I rode like one one uh, pair of wheels mm -hmm. for the season. So it was, yeah, it was a struggle. We didn't have any tubeless. We were in a tube, so <laughs> we had a lot of puncture and all, all this stuff. So I think I missed some quality because of puncture or even like I remember in uh, the round in Meribel, I, I lost my uh, pedal during the run. <laughs> <laughs> and even like, even well, I, 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 I was able to ride on the axle of the pedal. Oh. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was terrible. And until the, the end, I was pretty good doing for the split, but I had a puncture. So <laughs> I was off the track and I missed the quality for nothing. I was, I was so pissed off at this time. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of little stuff like this, because yeah, it's, it was hard for me to have the good uh, component and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. And you were studying, right, for your first two elite seasons? Yeah. I did. Uh, it's like the beginning of mechanical engineering. Uh -huh. It's technician in French. Yeah. Technician mechanical. So it's two years pre. Yeah. It was pretty heavy for me. So I didn't do full uh work up around mm -hmm. the two first year of elite yeah i guess like for some riders that have had more opportunity within juniors by the time they come into elites they've potentially picked up like a relatively big team i guess for you you didn't have that security right so the the studying was important at that that point in time yeah yeah that's right yeah, yeah. when i i moved for the for the study, I, I did just only one workup, so <laughs> it for in my mind it wasn't the plan at all to to leave uh, from the mountain bike and yeah, so even I was able to normally uh, I have the possibility to manage the study I did in two years, but you can do in three years uh -huh. for um, for athletes. But I didn't do. Okay. I, I did in two years, so I did normal um, cycle. Yeah. Uh, so it was pretty hard, yeah. Definitely. Like it was pretty much the study, uh, training, uh, homework, sleeping. <laughs> um, yeah. Is I didn't do uh, I didn't do a lot of parties or all of this stuff because I was pretty busy. Yeah, fair play. And in and I guess in more recent years, like there's been a bit more consistency, more support. So 2019, I think it looked like you came in pretty strong into the season with a good early season result in Portugal. 
but then unfortunately picked up a, a knee injury in Fort William, right? Which kind of was yeah. almost the end of that season, really. Yeah, so every year, pretty much the, um, the team growing up, like every year we, we had more support. Um, I think after a few years, the, the name was Dorvalem Nikolai. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, in 2019, uh, yeah, it was, I think 2018, I did close to few top 10. So that was the big goal for me to, to reach this, uh, the top 10. Uh, but same as before, we had some mechanical issue, uh, many times that like, it was, yeah, a bit frustrating, like in, in Andorra, I was, I was in the top 10 in the quali, uh, doing a few, doing few split and I had, the uh, a tire blow off the, the rim and I still riding and I was close to the quality even on the rim and it was yeah 